Ooh. Whoops. Got a, got a little excited here. So, uh, yeah, I kind of ripped everything out from, like, door panel up. Get ready to swap in the black pieces from the old gray stuff. Let me show you what we got, and we'll start throwing stuff back in. So we got to remember from the part out from uh, Canada, that car had a whole like custom black interior. So after some thought, I uh, finally landed on a decision that I'm gonna do like a two-tone on my interior and uh, leave the gray from here down, match the, the seats, and then everywhere from like the windows up is gonna be the black. Starting with the headliner. To go along with the headliner, we have the sunroof cover and the visors. Some little stitching there. Here's one of the A-pillars. We have the other A-pillar along with the new gauge pod. This custom piece, this is the new rear deck to replace uh, the little grill covers. Once we get some stuff put in, we'll come back to the whole speaker situation. So after we get that installed, we got the trim piece that goes across the back ready to go. And then we have the B slash C pillars, which we'll have to remove and install something before we actually put those guys in. And then of course, you know, the little various miscellaneous pieces, which uh, just figured out we don't need these guys. These were the hooks that kind of help hold up the back. Well, just noticed that sadly it's kind of cracked. So I mean, down the road, we back and fix it. But um, yeah, they like bonded or something over where that one would go. Seatbelt covers and then the front clips for the, um, for the visors. So first I'm gonna show you how to get that guy changed out real easy and then we'll start putting stuff back in. So we're off to a great start. There's a cute little rivet there. So when I pulled the other one out of the other car and when I pulled them out before, I've actually found just a Phillips screws there. One way or the other, if you ever have to change your, your visor, all you gotta do is take this back piece off, whether you drill out the rivet and then replace it with a screw or unscrew it, whatever. On each side, this comes off and this thing will slide right at the back. Drill the rivet out. That's it. Get that side out and we'll swap this cover out. So the old one's out. And then I need, I need my handle. Okay, we'll pop it into this guy. There, so after some finesse, whew, that's it. So we've officially begun the transition. All right, so next is the headliner. Now I do have the light, put the light put in already. So all I gotta do is plug it in. And then same thing with the, uh, I've got the sunroof button already in there too. Gonna make sure uh, we tuck the wires and put them back where they're supposed to be. hooks in.
All right, I'm gonna get this back thing knocked out real quick. Well, it looks like I'm getting rid of my seat posts. Not ideal, but I guess I could work with it. That's in. I kind of dropped one of these in there to see what it would do. And then I got that trim piece on there. I really want to see if there's a way to mount this thing a little better. I mean, it's in there, but... Hmm. But we'll come back to that because uh, we got a while before we even put speakers in there. Yeah, let's talk about speakers then. So what we'll actually be working on next is getting these pieces ready to throw in. I got one off, but I gotta get this other mount for the old tweeter out. And then we'll show you guys. The first piece of the puzzle showed up. So I was able to find a component system that just takes basically a two-way speaker and just makes it separate. There we go, under the front lip. So these would be the six and a halfs, and then these would be the tweeters we're replacing those big things with. And what we're gonna end up doing is I'll just reuse the one hole. Well, actually two. I really wanted to go with the recessed look, but I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave this just kind of hanging out in the open. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and put it back where they were. Kind of figured out so it's just kind of a a push to twist but uh so those are in there set it aside because we're going to have to add some wiring to it get this one off and put the new one on and here's the finished product it's as good as i hoped it would um luckily they're nice and small so they'll hopefully blend in a little bit better than those other ones so next we're going to start some wiring um, I'm gonna crawl back in there and I'll start explaining what we're gonna do. All right, so we've got pretty much everything installed. So I got all the pillar stuff back in. I just gotta put those covers back on and fix the, the door seals on uh, both sides. Yeah, that's how these things look installed. Still gotta get those five and a quarters. And then I gotta find a home for these guys. I think what I'm gonna do is it's just gonna end up being probably up under here somewhere. I don't wanna have too much wiring running everywhere, so I think the move will be just having everything up underneath and then uh, then run the main wire over to here. So I'm gonna keep working at it, come back is with little updates here and there. It's definitely a little tight and uh, really dark to, to work in here, so that's why I'm not filming too much. Here's where we're at with the wiring. I found a place and it's up under here. So those are nice and secure up in there. The tweeters ran to both. Uh, I made a short wire to go to the woofers. I could order more spade uh, terminals. And then I went ahead and ran uh, the main input wire for both sides. So that's ready to go. I am going to eventually replace this stuff too that goes to the front. But that'll be down the road whenever I get the new door speakers and I add those uh, bigger tweeters. Anyway, with the good old jail here and its adaptive internals that it has, I, I'm expecting to have a 2 ohm load with all that stuff back there. And right now it only has four on the front. With the circuitry that's built into these things, it's able to run two different ones without without killing itself. If it becomes an issue with those five and a quarters, I do have a backup plan. It'll obviously include some more waiting. Um, so the idea with that will be, I'll run just this, the six and a half and the tweeters for the time being, and then what I'll end up doing is, there is a 300 slash two out there that will find a way to squeeze in there but hopefully not. I don't really want to overcomplicate things too much. I gotta go order some more stuff and we'll be back at it. All right, so we got some goodies. So the tricky part was I had to get these little guys as well. So I'm gonna show you the size difference here. So that's what you'll find on these speakers. So see the big and the little. So easy way was I put on the speaker first and I just fed the wire down. 
So now we're gonna get these main leads on there. I'm gonna do the same thing to that side. And then we can try to test it. Slide that in. There we go. And that actually completes this side. There's gonna be a lot of cleaning and tucking once I'm done, but. Okay, so you guys can see too what kind of happens here. So it even gives you a little a diagram inside there. So now we are good for a test. Get a battery and we'll test that out. Then we'll talk about where we're going to go from there. So you can see it, uh, what we have installed so far works really good. A lot lighter than I expected, but um, we're gonna continue. Having said that, I'm gonna go ahead and save up whatever to get another amp to go along with the five and a quarters. If I get another 300 slash four, cool. Um, if it's just a 300 slash two, good with that as well. Yeah, cause I like how this sounds now and I wanna just build on that. But I'll probably end up doing, one idea is Get the five and a quarters, run everything off this amp. Just put the five and a quarters on the quote unquote front. Just split the rear signal to that amp and then run the front signal to a separate amp and run everything, you know, up here because we are going to be switching these out for um, bigger tweeters. So I'll definitely be tying those together and running a lead back. And I'm thinking of just, if that's on its own amp, probably best bet. Yeah, I think that's our plan. So what we're gonna do is gonna wrap here, definitely satisfy where we're at. But other than that, that is everything for the interior other than adding more speakers and another amp. Um, this video's kind of all over the place, but into your stuff nonetheless. But that just means there's gonna be a part two and we're gonna continue this. Hopefully have it ready for, for it to roll out for the season. So as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.